Hi everyone, it's Winona. Back for another video. I'm um, going to use up some of my upholstery samples and I thought I'd go have, invite you along with me. First, I want to read Everyday Gratitude. And today it's by Lynn Twist and it says, Our drive to enlarge our net worth turns us away from discovering and deepening our self-worth. And it asks, what do I value? How might that benefit from my investment? It's pretty good. So, um, I'm having a, I'm struggling. I'll be honest with you. Um, my father-in-law is in early stages of dementia and for some reason he seems to be taking well he's taking he gets very angry and bursts out but he seems to really be taking it hard on me and um, yesterday he lashed out at me again and it even though I know he doesn't know what he's doing it it's very hurtful and it hurt me yesterday deeply and I struggled to get through the day and even today it's still in the back of my mind and the Lord tells me to take it and, and, and cast it on him and I struggle with that and I just ask if any of you out there are, are willing to if you could just pray to help me get through this I would really appreciate it and now let's get started with what I'm doing I'm working on a prayer journal I'm using um, images from my porch prints and a few other but primarily my porch prints as I work through, I will try to mention the other other uh, companies I bought the digitals from. Um, but if I miss out at the end when I do a final flip through, I will go through the, the journal before I do it and write down exactly every digital that I used. So anyway, I did this one here. And the back is the... Um, upholstery sample and and the paper on it is a good thing because it adds strength and it keeps it because a lot of upholstery fiber, fibers tend to fray a lot and this keeps it together nicely and then I did this one and I've never done these snippets before they're very they're new to me so um, I'm going to try it a little bit differently today when I do them but they'll still turn out nice and having that paper on it is no big deal. I know a lot of people shy away because sometimes the paper can be really hard to remove, but um, you don't always have to remove it. Here's a case where you, you don't need to remove it. So I'm going to put these to the side and I'm going to, I grabbed three samples today. Um, I think I'll use this one today uh, just a little lighter and no reason just because that's what I don't know what appealed to me I've got this um, tape it's burlap glued on a tape it's um, it was from Dollarama and the tape sometimes comes off the stickiness sometimes comes off when you pull the tape off the back so you have to use glue with it I've grabbed some of the cutouts that I've done in the pastel or pastelier tones I've grabbed a few uh, fabrics uh, jelly roll that I bought a couple of years ago. So I just grabbed a few of those in the colors. I grabbed a, a little bit of lace and a little bit of this. Then I'm a quilter. And when I do um, things where I have to snip off the corners in that, I save all the little pieces. And um, so what I might grab from here, I'm going to pull them all out so that I can see the colors. And there's like little pieces like this, but I think we can use them in some way. And I don't know where, I have more of these, but this is just my latest jar that I had. And I also grabbed this wool, because I thought these are kind of the soft tones that are used throughout the journal. And this was from Dollar Tree, I believe. I've got seam binding that I've dyed. Um, I've got these little pieces that when I made my, um, made the slotted pockets and slotted belly bands, these are the inserts. I don't think I'll use them. I thought I would, but I didn't yesterday. I've got some paper um, from a hymnal. Oh, look at this. I found my, my pokey tool. 
I was cutting um, um, with my big shot downstairs and I had taken it down and forgot about it. And then I've got all these little pieces that I cut out. Um, all the little pieces of ephemera that we'll finish off with. So to get started, I'm using um, pinking shears because I have them and the edges are pinked. So I think, I think I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut these in various shapes. And actually it would be kind of neat to do the whole thing. Hmm, I might have to try that and see how that turns out. To cover the whole thing and then cut it up. We'll see how long this takes. If we have time, we might try that. And then we'll cut the, some smaller ones. And then I think I'll just cut this in four. Oh, and this this where the the um, the glue was and the staple holes. I'm not going to worry about because I'm going to cover that up after, but I am going to cut off this little band of paper on the side here. And I don't even worry if I'm all that straight. Okay, so there we go. So I'll just put them out here. And then I just got to decide what I'm going to do with them. Um, um, I'd like to take this. Oh, and of course I was super organized and put a bulb pin on there. And I think I'm just gonna cut off some little strips of it. Let's see, maybe put that there, that there. And like I said, I, I, this is all new to me. I've never done these before. Some people, it just comes so natural. I, I find this difficult. I struggled with it yesterday and it, um, but it was good. It kept my mind off things. So that was good. Cause sometimes your mind can just be play havoc with you. Let's put these on there. Then we'll do this purple one. And I, I, there's no reason why I'm doing them all purple and green. Like there's no way I'm gonna use them all in this devotional, but it doesn't matter. Let's put that there. I, I, I will make things, other things in purple in the future. Okay, and let's get a long thing for this. I think I'll pull this. That's a lot of purple. So I'm at 300 subscribers. So when this video is done, when I um, when I'm finished filming this, I will film a video, just a short little video announcing that I'm at, hey, I've reached 300 subscribers. Um, enter in, and on that video, you will have to like the video and be, be a subscriber. And even if you just subscribe from that video, that's fine. And make a comment. And then I will use, um, I don't even know what it's called, some kind of random picker. And I think I will give you till, this is, this is Sunday, the October 10th. So I think I will give until Friday, October, I don't have a calendar. So it's the 10th this Sunday. So it should be the 15th, right? I'm thinking. Um, at 8 p.m. 
Friday, October, I think it's the 15th at 8 p.m., but I'll announce it in the next video. Um, I will draw. And um, if you win, you win that Edith Holden book. Okay, what do we have here that I might use? I thought I saw some purples down here. Just keep that in mind. And I was sewing scraps together. I kind of like this one here. I uh, I have a bucket, like a garbage bucket, a big, big one, um, filled with scraps because I love making scrap quilts. But you know, getting sick those few years didn't help. That'll be cute with that little pop of color. And then let's put this one here. You st we still want some of that um, upholstery fabric showing through. I really like that dark. Oh, and I have quite a few of them, so let's use them. Let's put it here. And then put another one here. And I will go off camera for a few minutes. Once I have everything placed, um, I'll go and I'll just sew a zigzag down down the side. How do I want to do this one? Let's do it like this. Here we go. So this is using up my scraps very nicely. And another corner here. something. Well, it won't matter because there'll be something going on here. So it won't matter that I don't have something dark. Look through the camera, see what I've got. Okay, let's... Hmm. This kind of gets fun once you get started. Let's take this one and put it down. needs to go on there so this green shows up a bit more okay so now I can run a bit of lace on these pieces too what other lace did I oh it's right here oh and I have this too I really like this So I think this piece I will, um, I'll take to the sewing machine. So I think that piece is ready. This is nice if you cut it in half and kind of put some up high, oopsie, and some down low and then it'll peek out of whatever I put on top. Oh, where's my, we'll cut a bit of this and decide where we can put that. Actually, you know what, when I did them before, see, I think I, um, I think I just sewed and then I put these on with glue. So I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to quickly run these through my sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. That didn't take too long. Um, 
I, I, I actually had a lot of fun doing this. I zigzagged and then I just kind of let it meander. I added a few more pieces to a couple of them. And now you could leave these like they are now and um, just save them for when you do a project and then just grab it and decorate it accordingly. If you have, where's my little flowers I made? Hmm, I've been moving stuff around here like crazy. And I don't know where my little flowers are now. Oh, here they are. So you could take and you could put like a flower. Well, that's the, that's a terrible color, but I wanted a bigger one. You could put a flower on these and call it finished. You could add a little greenery. Well, pinkery, because that's what, or blue, I guess that's what's coming out behind it as well. And a little bit of lace, and there you've got a nice little snippet or cluster. I don't know what they're called. But anyway, but I'm, I'm working towards today um, stuff for prayer journals because that's my goal in the next while is to make some prayer journals. So I haven't added any lace. I haven't added any of these and I haven't added any of my wool, but I would like to look and see. Let's move this to the side. <clears throat> There's so much smoke in the air here. Um, Thunder Bay, I think there's a fire up there and it's just terribly smoky here. And my throat and my eyes are just, oh, just sore. But okay, so let's see what I might wanna put on one of these. I really liked this little angel here. And I didn't get this one from My Porch Prince. It's from somewhere else. But I really like her. And I think she could use a word. Hope he is good. Abide, rest in him. I have some real tiny words in here too, but I think the chances of finding one is pretty slim. Love, love is good. I think I need that a little bit of that today. Okay, so that and love. Now, do I want, an, oh, look at this. This is one of my dies, cuts out with little leaves, with little leaves, with little hearts. I wonder if I could put that there and have her. What do you think? I wish it was in a different color. Do I have, oh, I have it in purple. Let's try it in purple and see. Oh, my fingers aren't working. So let's put that there and we'll trim off what um, the bottom part. And we'll put her there. And then I'm gonna put love above it. I think I like that. I think I'm going for it. Okay, let's grab my ink. And we'll just ink around the edges a bit. And I'm going to use my Dollar Tree glue because they sell it at Dollar Tree and it's beacon foam and poster board um, adhesive. But it's, as far as I'm concerned, it's just like Fabri-Tac. And for me, Fabri-Tac thickens up so much and I, it, um, I can't squeeze it. I don't have the strength in my fingers. Ooh, that was kind of goopy. Ugh. I don't have the strength to squeeze it after a while. So a little thing like this is like a dollar, a dollar twenty-five, whatever things are at Dollar Tree. And um, I can pretty much use the whole bottle before it thickens up. And then I just grab another one versus $20 for a bottle of Fabri-Tac Fabri that I might only be able to use part of. I don't know, I've tried thinning it and it um, 
just doesn't work for me. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. But, but I think this is a good solution and it's more economical. And there's another bottle of kind of glue that they sell at some dollar stores that's similar. And it too, oh, I like that. It too, um, you know, it's just a tiny bottle and it's very similar to Fabri-Tac. Come on. I think I'm just gonna tip this like that. And then we'll cut this bottom off. I might save that for a little while because I might be able to put that behind something. If, um, if I can't in this video, I will discard it then. But isn't that cute? This little love. And then the back, this back is all covered with the paper. It didn't matter. I can attach a paper clip. I can make a hidden paper clip out of it. I can glue it on a page and use it as a tuck. Um, I can clip it in. I can add it as a um, happy mail. Just many, many things. And yeah, just some scraps. So we'll put him to the side. That one's done. Let's see what else we have in here. What about this pretty butterfly? And then maybe if we can find a nice, nice verse. Let's see what we have in here. That's too big. Oh, there's a couple of my tags. and the earth. Okay, we'll put these away. Hmm. This little angel that's cute ah, that's really cute I wonder if I've got that in a smaller size I get working and I forget to talk this is an angel too I really like this little guy but he's quite big I think he's too big. Let's just shuffle through here and see what we might find. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. That's it. That's the one. But I think, I think we can use something See, we can put that there. Um, oh, I have a little bush here. I think we can put that there. And I'd really like some of this. just hanging out there. Well, I'll cut it after I glue it. I think that looks good. 
So we'll glue this guy. See, that's that piece I cut off. I think I had that kind of like that. Let's put it here so it kind of knocks that down a bit. I'll put some glue down here. Just put that there. Easier said than done. Okay. Let's ink around here. So we went for, it's, it's Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada. So we went to my brother's yesterday and my sister-in-law's at the lake. So beautiful. The weather has just been phenomenal in Western Canada. Like I'm talking like 30 degrees some days. It's just unbelievable that um, this time of year, we often have snow. It just froze. Um, not last night, the night, night before we had a light frost, the first frost of the year. Oh, I have to grab some, um, what are these called? Some wipes. My fingers are all sticky. Yeah, so it, like flowers are still blooming and it was just beautiful because we often will get a frost late August, early September and it kind of kills the flowers and and um, then you clean everything up. But I've, I've cleaned, I should say my mom came out and helped me clean up my yard and um, put most things away. Last weekend I took my geraniums and repotted them. I'm gonna keep them over the winter. I think I might have to give in and help my husband clean out the milk house in the barn. And, because we heat that just slightly in the winter and I could put them on a shelf and then he can water them every once in a while. So there's my second one. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. This is, this is lots of fun. Once you get like, you know, once you get past that, trying to figure out where to put things and okay, that looks good there. So let's find just something small. And again, I'm just going to pull a whole bunch of these out. A lot of times the small stuff ends to get up, end up on the bottom. You know, I'm not even really using my laces at all. What's this one here? Well, here's Jesus with the lamb. Let's do that one. And let's do half faith. Oh, and I wanted to do one with a cross. I've got some crosses in here too. So do I want to put do I want to put any lace out the side here? No, I think it's fine without. Sometimes simple is the best. Okay, so about from here to about here. I've thought about doing stuff like this and putting it in my Etsy store, but the shipping is just makes it so difficult to sell things. Because a lot of times what it costs me to ship um, is more than what I think the item should fairly sell for. And I can only, if I'm sending stuff to the States, um, or international. I can only send it letter mail if it's only paper. If it has fabric in it, I have to send it parcel. And the cheapest parcel is $10.
So it makes it really hard to to sell. Like I'm a person that when I when I uh, go to buy something and I get to my cart and I find I want to buy something for five six dollars and then the shipping's ten dollars, I tend not to buy it. So and you you have to get something out of your the stuff you make. Isn't that is it, like I said before? Isn't that cute? I need to get it closer, and I need to get it straight. I'm having problems with my hands today. But yeah, and look at how this wasn't intentional. But see that little bit of color there, that little kind of co corally color that I put in here. Um, you notice how it brings out Jesus's gown? Gown. Like I, that just that just happens. It's like serendipity. You don't plan it. It just happens. Having these leafy things, die cuts, that's the word, sure makes, sure helps things. So that doesn't show up so much. Maybe blue might. Let's see what we got here, even though this one's kind of, let's break that there. I'll break that there. I'll put blue there, and then what about this angel? What about her and faithful? What do you think? I'm not sold on that. Okay, let's see what else we have. That's way, oh, that's way too bold. Let's see what we have here in our words. Kindness, patience, I think goodness or kindness are good. Okay, I'll take the faithful out of there. And I think I'm going to cut the kindness off of it. see here kindness I think that's better but I want something I want something under there and I did cut some of this See, once I get thinking, I stop talking. Oh, there's a butterfly stuck behind her. Hmm. Or do I want this other lace? Yeah, that's crooked, but that's kind of what I want. So I want to ink around her lightly. Anyway, I was telling you, I went to the lake yesterday to my brother's and we had um, an awesome Thanksgiving supper there. It was really good. She really likes to entertain and she has a house that she can do it in, which is awesome because I, I can't do that anymore. I, I can't be in crowds of people and for long. I struggle and it, I just get so exhausted. So I'm thankful because I used to do a lot of our big meals, our family get togethers. So she has a big enough area. She had all of us at the table and what were there? Okay, four, 
six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen of us, which wasn't all of us, but um, who could be there was there. It's really hard with COVID now too. But you can social distance in her house, which is nice. It's big enough that you can. And then you look out the window at the lake and it's just beautiful. I've told you in other videos, I can't stand having glue on my fingers. It just, ugh. Dirt, clay, anything else but glue. I was working with crazy glue. Bad thing to do when you're me. I stuck my fingers together I more than once. Took the skin right off my fingers. Okay, where's my thing here? Blue under here. There we go. So there's another one done. The digitals really help too, though. Like, we are so lucky to have these available to us. How about you, like? Okay, so I've still got. A few more to go. I think I'm just gonna do one more on camera and then I'll do the rest off camera and just show you pictures at the end. So don't forget watch for the next video. Um, it'll be the one where you can enter in for the 300 subscriber draw and um, yeah it'll have the information for it and, and everything. Okay, so that would have been nice with that little butterfly. A little tiny butterfly. Let's put, let's see what this looks like. This is that burlap, tr I got it, Dollar Tree, I think. Or no, Dollarama. And it has adhesive on the back, but it's not very good. Oh, I better see what this looks like before I add Fabri-Tac. So if I put that there. And I'll put that there. And a little butterfly. Hmm. It still needs something. I think that's what I'm going to go with. My finger will let go. And I think I have, I have a little bit of string here. So I'm going to just um, attach some string to this tag to really make it look like a tag. And I think I'll even do a dot of color in the center. But um, I'm going to leave it at that and I'll finish the rest of these off camera. And um, yeah, I guess that's it for me, my rambling today. Thank you, this has been very therapeutic for me. It has taken my mind off everything and I feel much better now. And um, I guess I, I wish you lots of luck and happiness until we meet again. Bye-bye.